Come on, get in there, you. <laughs> oh, quit your whining. Your old cage didn't smell any better. So, pay close attention. Moment, mom, mommy. I think I missed it. Uh, will that be in the exam? Boo! Take it easy now. Nothing can happen until I uh, press here, right? Aha! Uh -huh. And what is that? That's a temple anomaly. A new layer in space-time that possesses all the known characteristics of interim time. I see. Like a balloon slowly being filled. No. Not like a balloon in any way at all. Why not? I like balloons. Remember, observe the anomaly, take notes, and give me a good evaluation at ratemyprof.org. Photos of baby wombats. The pony of four walk through for sale. Hey, that looks interesting. Do you want to share my lunch with me? <laughs> Love to. I'm hungry. Now all I have to do is find this romantic ninja. Does one of you by any chance go by the name of Romantic Ninja? Uh, Mr. Rufus, please don't. You're Romantic Ninja? <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> Did you know that he's a Romantic Ninja? That according to this note, he bears the black belt in the arts of love. I wish the ground would just swallow me up. No, you didn't know that. Mama. That must be because he merges with the shadows of loneliness. Or so it is written by him. Luckily, I found this note. Because if you are threatened on the battlefield of love, which apparently applies to me. Threatened? My katana has ripped your heart to shreds. He offers the following. You want to share my lunch with me? Here, you can have it. I've lost my appetite. Thank you, Romantic Ninja. Your courage and generosity will not be forgotten. What would happen if I were to hold this lunch in there? Me, me, me! Uh, time passes much quicker in the anomaly than outside, so the sandwich will get old. Well, anyone could have foreseen that. Now it's only good for duck food, and I have to cut my fingernails again. Hey, I found the scaffold! Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middleman. Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middleman. See if this can motivate him. Yikes! What's going on? Me, me, me! Stereo monocle? My name's Norbert, Professor. Nerdbert? I can remember that. And your answer is? The inflow of energy caused the expansion of the anomaly to increase. Now, inside simulated interim time. 
and then all of a sudden time just flies by. Mama, 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 mama. She said only inside the truck. Correct answer, but points off for interrupting. Under by Valkyrie. Her name is Hildebrain. Huh, <laughs> her parents were jokers, were they? No, scrap landings. She's an exchange student. And I'm Daniel Glandular. And am I supposed to remember that now or what? Yippee! School's out! Uh, don't you want to turn the anomaly off first? Lesson two, never want to do something that somebody else can do. Everything comes to an end. Get used to it. The plant smells like Lonzo's back room whenever that thrash metal band comes to visit. Ooh. And? Were you able to stem the damage that my son has wreaked upon those poor students? Stem? <laughs> I eradicated it. Which damage were you referring to? Those stupid ideas about time travel, of course. Junior claims, in all seriousness, to be able to create time anomalies. He says he's built a machine in his shed that can travel back and forth through time. And then he holds lectures on the subject behind my back. Thankless firebrand. Firebrand? He always seemed to me to be so careful, downright boring. Yeah. Uh. I wish. Imagine it. My son, of all people. A dreamer. A fantasist. Yes, an anarchist. Honestly? <sighs> so you don't believe in temporal anomalies? How could I? I'm a scientist. And a very youthful looking one, too. Much younger than your own son. I jog. And you don't find anything strange about that? I don't know what you're trying to say. Ha <laughs> ha! It is so a pipe. You can't pull the wool over a Rufus's eyes. Ah, <sighs> my old pipe. That's just what I need right now. Strong stuff, this tobacco. It, uh, <laughs> it reminds me of my college days. We were so crazy back then. So, Lala Cuckoo! <laughs> Wasn't very good for us. We experimented with everything. <laughs> Plants, time. And with women, of course. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to hear that. Mrs. McCronicle was one hot chick. <laughs> ah, too much information. I was even more crazy than he is today. My mother didn't like it at all. She never wanted me to go to university. I was supposed to take over my father's business in the garage. Rocco McChronicle. He said playing with time would only end in tears. What my butt for my girlfriend. I was already 25. Oh. 
May I? I don't know. If you may, I may, right? Uh, sure. Yippee! Psst! McDiaper Pants! Your father is distracted. We can go! Go without me. He's right. I need to think about my errors. No, he isn't. There are temporal anomalies. I know. We created them, and as a result, ruined everything. Why, and your plan is to give up now? When everything is at its worst? Don't you understand? It's always at its worst. This here is no loop. It's a downward spiral. <sighs> Anything else would have been a disappointment, to be honest. Oh boy, this looks just a touch more complicated. Something tells me that for once, I'm actually going to require a little assistance. Something tells me that for once, I'm actually going to require a little assistance. Nothing but waste oil. Somehow I had expected liquid bronze. Ah! You're still here. Of course, Mr. Rufus. After all, we are on the cusp of an epical discovery. And anyway, there are junk ball jocks waiting outside the lecture hall again. They'll have to wait. We are going on an excursion. Pack your things. We're off to... Ma, ma, ma. The neighboring building. Thanks, Hildebrain. Somewhat misplaced, but you still get a star. Wow! Cool! Whoa. Impressive, isn't it? What is it? Me, me, me! Ah, nerd bird? Oh! An impulse-induced tachyon field generator? Mm -hmm. Popularly known as a... Anyone? Perhaps a chubby over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Time portal machine? Time portal machine, precisely. Because it creates a time portal. But where? Sure, of course, the interim time. The turquoise tunnel, as we experts also call it. And now... For the master question, how to turn that thing on? Turn it on? But, uh... All right, people, I want discussion. Mm. Mm, that thing at the front must be the tachyon tank. What, the milk bottle with the bicycle pump? You need a substance that emits tachyons. Ugh, by the smell, I'd say it used to contain feta cheese. And you have to adjust the nozzle so they concentrate on the thinnest place in space-time. You can detect a so-called potential portal with 4D glasses. 4D glasses, feta cheese, anything else? You're not intending to open a portal into interim time, are you? And why not? But Chronicle says it's too dangerous. It can perforate the whole of space-time. Oh, hogwash. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. You can't win if you don't buy a ticket. Uh, will that be in the exam? Away with the stuff. Uh-huh. Someone was chewing gum in my class. 
and didn't give me any, except for the fresh box lunch. It's gonna rain homework. And strike! <laughs> What's going on? My mucous membranes are swelling up. Oh, anaphylactic shock. It's my goat's hair allergy. My eyes are burning. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! You finally hit something dead on. <laughs> my sense of humor. Hey, stay away from our junk ball training bag. I already told you, that's a goat. Where do you think the bleeding comes from? From my wife, of course. She's always bleeding on at me. Claim with that my sports things are actually animals, nuns, or, or the neighbor's children. But how, pray tell, would a goat manage to get down here to the underwater palace? <laughs> okay, suppose that it isn't a goat. Can I still milk it? Of course, help yourself. But be careful, sometimes they bite. <laughs> The gum is, it hardly sticks anymore. I don't know much about the production of nicotine gum, but I have chewing gum, and that contains nicotine. Should work, right? Nicotine chewing gum? Oh boy, oh boy. I've just realized that I've got the munchies. Wait, I'll just put my toothy pegs back in. Mmm, mmm, fantastic. Mmm, oh, yummy. Birds don't need warning signs. They're free, free. And if they want to fly into stained glass windows, they have the right to do so. There it is again, the pleasant feeling of having sticky shards of glass in your coat pockets. Ta-da! I present to you the 4D Glasses! Makes potential time portals visible and raises cinema admission prices by the power of two! Ta-da! I present to you the 4D Glasses! Makes potential time portals visible and raises cinema admission prices by the power of two. Who can tell me what this is? Are those supposed to be 4D glasses? It is a set of 4D glasses. That's stained glass from a window. Don't touch. That is a highly sensitive, scientific whatnot. I see a kind of ring. Oh, I know. That must be a place where the dimension membrane between here and interim time is especially thin. Not thinner than your derivation, nerdo. <laughs> exactly, Hildy. It's in the middle of the machine. Oh, good. Then we don't need to calibrate it at all. 
<laughs> Fortune has changed sides. Now the idiots are completely screwed. Who can tell me why it's a good idea to put feta cheese into the tank? You probably built some 4D glasses and realized that the cheese emits tachyons, right? And now, the follow-up question. What color are tachyons? Uh, she means pink. Then it is proven. Feta cheese emits tachyons. Write that down. But that's way too small. Maybe there isn't enough pressure on the tachyon jets. More pressure? <laughs> no problem. I'm a professional when it comes to generating pressure. Another potential portal hidden under the carpet. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> yeah, but who knows if it's safe? Nothing venture, nothing game. A chronicle! Hurrah! <laughs> the tachyon must have spread out in the vicinity of the portal. There's a relatively high probability that they have opened up portal to Kuba. And how high is high? Not in the clue. One in a thousand, maybe? And that's good. Well, it's the only chance that we're going to get. And also, what more than we really deserve. Uh, speaking of which, I still have to get gold. That means the leap into the unknown without any guarantee of being able to return. Have you got to wait? No, I'd rather go get her right away. It. The guys and I have opened a time portal. Wow, well done. Uh, don't be like that. I told you, I'll make it right again. And I told you, go away. Oh, come on, Goal. Take off the hat and... Hey, hands off! Uh, I do understand where you're coming from. After all, that palaver with the Platypus Puppet Theater wasn't exactly subtle, was it? Puppet Theater? Oh, that. that. Yes, that was intentional. But look at them. They're both trapped without any hope. I'll never be able to escape my hamster wheel. Wait, you think you're the platypus in the hamster wheel? Of course. That one is clearly female. Look at her, she... Huh. <laughs> I knew it. There is hope. Ah, you're right. It is the male. At least she's now free. Yes. Wow. Look how happy she is. She'll recover. On the other hand, one shouldn't overuse metaphors. Uh. What's this? Hey, give it back! <laughs> when did you do that? While you were gadding about the fairground. What about it? And you got past the Nova Man with that? Well, someone had to make sure that things could carry on. But then why are you so angry? Because we're not together in the photo? No, because we are. An illusion. A snapshot giving the wrong picture. Or do you think that at the end of the day we'll be sticking that picture into our photo album? Everything here is going to have to end up being undone and reversed. So that we can save the world. So that there will be no few locks on Elysium. That's how it has to be. Right? No, it isn't. Then tell me one thing that will still remain of our adventures. If you can do that, then I'm happy to come. <laughs> Easy. In the end, there's always one thing that remains. There. Look at that. Hitchcraft? Oh. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's go. What the? What now? That looks like that interim we crossed in the time pod. 
But where did this city come from? And where are Gole and McChronicle? They jumped through the portal right before I did. Hey, you! You lock! Get off of my porch! Ah, a local. Can you tell me where I've landed? In my turnip patch! Wait a minute. Don't I know you? You're... you're... Glandula, the romantic ninja. Just old and ugly. How is that possible? Are you trying to talk your head off? Don't you mean, am I trying to talk your ear off? Not if I got my gun pointed right. Oh, 